Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and because you liked so much the Hitchol style, I will show you another, this time, big flower Hitchol style pendant. Although it's big, it's easy to make because I'm showing it step by step and I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads. Here I'm using a chain and a bale, but it's not obligatory to use them. You could make a beaded chain if you want. There are a lot of tutorials out there for beaded chains. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because I make usually twice a week new videos and you will be inspired often. Also, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Uh, if you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much you help me only with these actions. And now I'm going to start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 all seed beads or you could use 10 all seed beads as long as all the colors are uh, in one and the same size. And here I'm using white, yellow, green, black and orange. Of, of course, you could use other colors of your choice. This is a bale here that I'm using and you could use a regular chain like this or you could make chain out of beads, it's up to you. Here I'm using monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use only to attach my bail and to go through the difficult beads. Okay, it's up to you whether you use them or not. Now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle. If you want to make it with one thread, maybe you should take even more than an arm span, an arm span and a half. But you could definitely go with less thread and later add more thread. Okay, so I'm going to start. Okay, guys, and I'm starting by picking up 16 yellow beads. Okay, and I have my 16 beads now on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and here what I'm going to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling and then I will make one more knot. just to be sure it's all tight and secure and I'm going to pull again. Okay, now I have this. Now I will go through some beads in this direction. Now I'm going to take three green beads and as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going back in circle through the same bead that my thread is exiting out of. Okay, and I pull. I have this in my next step I'm going through two beads and I want to take three green beads okay three of them go back in circle through this one I go through two more again I take three and I'm going through this bead that I'm exiting out of and just to save time I will also go through the next two beads. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this. If it was too fast for you, you could rewind the video 
at the part where I'm showing slowly what I do okay now I'm exiting out of this green bead and I prefer to flip my work okay and now I'm going to pick up five white beads okay I have my five I'm skipping the one that sticks out I go through the following and through the yellow after that and I have this then I go again through the green through the next green I'm going to take five okay five skip the one that is sticking out go through the green and through the following yellow and go in this direction okay this is what I do until the end of this row I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end five skip the one that is sticking out okay and I will continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row making my last petal and in my next step I'm exiting here at the top through this white bead and I'm going to pick up three black beads okay I have them and I go back in circle through this white that is sticking out the most just like this then I go through the following white and take just one black bead and I go through the second white counting from the center to the outside through this one this is one bead away from this top bead that is sticking out the most and now I take three black beads I go back in circle through this white just like this go through the following white take one black and go in the same place through the second white counting from the center to the outside then go here at the top take three go like this and through the following then take one black bead just like this okay guys and i will continue this until the end and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming okay guys and here i am now where i'm adding my last black bead from this row okay now i will go through these top three black beads exit through the third one take just one black and go through the black here then take one more black and go through the black here okay now i will go through the next two black beads and i will repeat the same thing black go in the center black go through the top three beads and i'll show you one more time i'm always showing three times black go here black and go here i will continue this and meet you here okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last black bead from this row okay guys and here i added my last black bead from this row and now what i want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction exiting out of this inner angle then i'm going in the following black bead after the angle you see what i have 
and I'm going to add three seed beads okay three black beads and I'm going in the bead that is before the angle and through the angle again and then again in this direction okay now I have this and I'm doing this again I'm going through the inner angle going in the following seed bead and taking three black beads and I'm going back in circle through all of those three beads then I go in this direction and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay I will continue and meet you here okay guys and I'm adding here my last three beads from this row if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and see how I make the first three steps and repeat them until the end and now what I want to do guys is exit here through this black bead that is one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most okay I'm exiting here you see through this bead next to the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take five yellow beads okay I have my five yellows here and as I'm exiting through this bead I'm skipping the one here at the top and I'm going through the following just like this then I go through this black and through this one here and I pull and here at this step you see uh, this loop is sticking out more than this one and here I'm going to add three yellows okay three yellows skip the one that's sticking out the most okay this one I'm skipping this one and I'm going through the following and if you can also go through this black bead okay here at this step I'm adding three now it is the step that I'm adding five which is the inner part here you see this one is sticking out and here I'm adding three this one is at the inner side and I'm putting five here okay I need five skip the one that sticks out the most like this and then I go through the following black in this direction and now I'm out of this black bead this one here and guess what now I will need three okay three I'm going like this and through this black one okay guys and I will continue this five three five three and if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind this video see these steps and repeat them until the end okay see you when i'm up to here okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last three beads from this row here they are now what i want to do is reach here my next three yellow beads okay I'm reaching the top one of my next three yellows I'm exiting here and I need three yellows okay three of them and I'm going here at the top like this then again I need three more yellows and I go through the top one of these three yellows then I take three more yellows 
go through the top one of these five beads through the middle one then again I need three go here through the central of these three beads then I take three more and go through the central one of these five and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end you just connect the outer angles here and I will continue and meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row okay you see where I'm adding it okay now what I want to do is go through the following seed bead after the angle and I'm going to add five orange beads okay I have five I'm skipping the one that's on my way and going through the following okay I have this now I skip this inner angle and I go also through the next bit. Okay, so I'm going through two more beads here in this direction. Okay, you see these three beads here that form something like an angle. I'm going through all the three of them. And I need five. Skip the one that's on my way and skip and go through the next three. You see? exiting out of this bead here that I'm pointing to I'm skipping the next one and then I'm going through the next three okay then again take five five skip the one that's on my way and the inner angle and the one after that so I'm going through three beads I should be here directly after the inner angle or three beads away from this orange one and I need five okay five skip the one that's on my way and go through the three next next three beads okay five skip one go through three five skip one go through three and I'm showing you one more time and I'm letting you do this by yourself five skip one go through three okay I will continue this until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads I'm exiting here skipping one and going through three like I did before and after that I want to go through all of those orange beads in this direction go through the one that's sticking out the most and through the following and then I'm taking two orange beads going through this one which is the second orange counting from the center to the outside then I'm going through the top and through the following orange just like this and I take just one black bead and I go here in the second orange counting from the center to the outside and I pull then I go through the top and through the following seed bead and I'm taking two orange beads and I'm going here between those two orange beads then I'm going through the top and through the following orange take one black 
go here through the next two orange beads and through the following orange take two orange beads go here between those two orange beads like I did before then go through the following two orange through the top and through the one that is after that one black go between those two orange beads that are from one side of my work go through the following two take two and go here and here guys I take just one black bead go in the same place and I'm going to continue guys this until the end adding two orange and one black alternating them and I'll meet you here okay guys and here is the last black bead that I'm adding I'm going through some beads in this direction and now if you forgot how I'm doing it rewind and repeat the first steps and you will be okay now what I want to do is exit here through these two orange beads that I added in my previous step okay you see where I'm exiting and I'm going to pick up five orange beads okay I have my five here and I'm going back through these two beads in this direction just like this then I go through all of the beads because I want to reach the same point guys I want to reach these two beads that I added in my previous step and here I'm adding five okay five and I'm going back through these two beads that I added here and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay and I will continue this and meet you here guys okay guys and I'm adding my last five beads from this row just like this okay and what I want to do in my next step is that I want to exit through all of those beads in this direction now I'm here through this bit this orange bit that I'm showing that I'm pointing to which is the second one counting from the yellow and what I need to add are three orange beads and I'm going here through this orange one and what I need are five orange beads okay let me focus I need five orange beads and I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the following bead and I have this now I'm going to take three orange beads and I'm going here in this bead which is next to the black one or the second orange counting from the yellow edge in this direction okay then I'm going through the black and through the following after the black I take three and I go here through this bit that is just next to the top one and I need five okay five I skip the top and I go through the following 
like this and I need three and I go here just like this I'll show you one more petal how I'm doing it taking three five three first three go here through this one that is next to the one that's sticking out the most now take five five skip the one at the top and go through the following then take three beads and go through the next three if you can in one movement just to save time and from here on three five three and i will continue this until the end and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and i'm going through the orange black and orange now i go through two more orange beads or i'm exiting out of the middle of the three beads that i added in my previous row and what i need to add here are three orange beads and i'm going here in this bead that is just beneath the bead that's sticking out the most of those five that i added before then i need three yellow beads i skip the central one and go through the following okay then i need three orange beads and I go here in the central one of this tree that I added in my previous row and I'm going to take two black beads and I'm going in the same place two beads away from here through this same central orange bead that I mentioned before then I need to add three orange beads go here in the same place one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most add three yellows and skip the top go through the following then again three orange beads go in the central one here take two black beads and go here in this orange bead that is two beads away from this part with the orange black orange or the central of these three orange beads that i added in my previous step take three go here one bead away from the top take three yellows go here skipping the top and through the next orange three orange beads through the middle of these three that i added in my previous row two blacks and in the same place symmetrically that i'm here Okay, and I will continue this until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to attach your pendant holder. Okay guys and here I am at my last petal. I'm just adding here my last three yellows and three orange beads. And what is left to do is to add the black ones and I'm adding them here at this place the same place as I did before okay now I'm exiting through the following orange and here is the place where I'm going to attach my bale okay I need three six six uh, green beads and as I'm exiting two orange beads away from the black I'm going in the same place just like this 
two orange beads away from the black ones. Then I go through the black ones and again through these two orange beads. Then I go through these three beads here. And I want to take just one green and go like this, making this beautiful angle here. I'm going to reinforce this one more time. Then I want to make a knot and cut my thread. Let's say I'm making a knot here at my inner angle. How I make it, I make a loop. I go once, I go second time. Through the loop I've made, I pull. Then I go through the following orange bead. And then I cut my thread. And now I'm going to attach my pendant holder. Okay guys, and now my large flower Hichol style pendant is ready. I put it on a standard chain here with a bail, but you could use beaded chain if you want. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe for new inspiration, usually twice a week. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much of a support this is. Check the links down there in description and share the beautiful content that you did out of my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you again for liking, sharing and commenting. Bye bye from me.